guys, here Noi for the Stormatech channel and the Noi Hillel channel. Today we will be uh, showing you a video of how to replace RAM from one computer to the other. On this piece of RAM is this piece of RAM is actually uh, four gigabytes. So I just took it out of the box. Well, actually, not the actual piece of RAM. Both of them are four gigabytes, so it's not eight gigabytes. So yeah, so what you will need for this is a coin to, you know, like take out the battery, battery, and a mini screwdriver to like take out the, uh, well I'll show you. Okay, so first we're going to want to remove the battery by doing that with the coin, we don't need that anymore. Be very careful with this battery because if it gets damaged a little bit, I, I've taken the battery out of my macbook only only once be sure to shut it shut the computer down don't put it on hibernate don't put it on sleep don't put it on well not you're not gonna put it on restart but don't put it on any you have to shut it down because it could also ruin the battery by doing that okay so this is the tricky part of doing this so you're gonna have to uh come here you're gonna have to unscrew this uh i don't know if you can see that you're gonna have to unscrew the screws of this kind of bolt thingy so i'm going to do that now which you probably won't be able to see but with a mini screwdriver here you unscrew them you have to be very careful also uh when you take the ram never ever touch this bit never never if sorry uh this bit the you know the piece at the top never touch it pins yeah the pins never touch it because uh if you touch it, it could get broken. Uh, so if you've already touched it, I'm sorry, it probably won't work. Sorry to say that. So here it's done. Uh, this is out, this uh, piece of metal. So you just pull it out, as you can see, like that. So set this aside. Make sure this bit also doesn't get dirty because it kind of uh, ruins the MacBook. If uh, Well, it doesn't ruin it, but if it gets dusty, it could uh, get bad. Okay, then you'll see these little levers here. Let me just show you with the camera up there. You'll see like these little levers. Here, yeah, I hope you can see that. Here. You're going to want to slightly push it a bit, a bit kind of with a bit of force because you're going to push it a little bit and you're going to feel that it won't move. So you want to push it with, you want to, sorry, you want to pull it with a bit of force until you see that the RAM pops out of the actual uh, MacBook. So you take that out very carefully, remembering not to touch the pins. You put that aside. You do that exactly the same with the other one. And like that. Make sure not to touch the pins. So here are the other pins that you're going to want to enter into the MacBook. So you see the lever here. It's going to want to go underneath the lever. Underneath it. So when you put it in, let me just put the other one in. When it goes in, you're going to want to take both of your thumbs and push it quite hard inside. Don't worry. You'll feel like kind of a, it's stuck feeling. Uh, but that's what you're supposed to feel. That's what's supposed to happen. And again, with this one. And when you feel that feeling, you're going to want to uh, touch the lever just to see that it's like, again, it's going to take you a bit of force to take the ram out. And then you're done. You're done with that bit, so you're going to want to put the metal bit back on, which is also a bit tricky. So I'm just going to show you how to do this. So you're going to want to put the the, me the metal, this this bit, in first. Uh, kind of like this. See, this is the tricky bit. There we go. It's in, I think. Oops, sorry. Yeah, in first. The This bit in first, the bottom bit in first and then you just push that uh, slightly like that and then you don't need to panic this won't be a bit, uh, slightly hard uh, the screws automatically like go into place so they know where to go so all you're going to want to do is uh, screw them in like that okay so now it's in as you can see it's perfectly in you're going to want to take the battery now uh, as you see there is the button which shows the battery life you're going to want to put that in first like that and then just it's gonna. You see, it fits into place. You take the coin and you close it. As you see now, uh, leave it for about ten seconds, 
and then press the uh, button to see if you have battery life. Okay, so here is your RAM. You're going to uh, want to do whatever you want to do with this. Maybe throw it in the bin, maybe use it for another computer. And I just want to tell you uh, one more thing before I end the video. There has been reports on the early 2008 white MacBook that when you enter new RAM into the into the device itself, it don't be scared when you open it and then it like you press the power button and it just doesn't turn on. It just it's just a black screen. Don't be scared if that happens because we've read reports that this has happened and it's happened to uh, the MacBook once uh, when we did this, but it's like kind of all fixed now. But just don't don't freak out. Don't think your MacBook is broken. Just put the old RAM into it, and it will boot up normally. You're gonna want to have to. You're gonna want to take it to Apple uh, if that happens to you. But we uh, just fixed it ourselves. It's fine. You could uh, instead of putting both RAMs in, you could just put like one of your old RAMs in and one of the new ones. Uh, that uh, is what we did, and that's what works. Uh, but these are just the specific old ones that we just took out just to show you. So yeah, thanks for watching this video and goodbye. See you later.